Hello again, this is Daniel, and today we are going to be making a transverse 8-hole ocarina. Now, I was going- I was- I'm making this because of a custom ocarina request. Uh, someone requested that I make an 8-hole ocarina with a serpent on the side, and, uh, when they said 8-hole, I thought- I thought they meant inline 8 holes, since that's the most common type I make, but, uh, no, they wanted a transverse, it turns out, so we're making that. So first you're going to get two decently sized uh, clay balls. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it into kind of an oval. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my finger along here. I'm going to pull on the edges of this, kind of hollow it out as much as I can. All right, now you're going to want to make sure they're about the same size. This one's a little smaller, so I'm going to stretch that and widen it a little. All right, now, oh, wrong tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the edges here. There, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut little, little slits in it like this, so we can get that wet and put the two together. All right, there, now that we've got that, there's something we're going to do. We're going to take paper, paper towels or newspapers or what have you, whatever you have, and we're going to dip them in the water and get them wet. And then we're going to line the inside of the ocarina with them so when we put it together, as it's drying, it doesn't cave in on itself because of its own weight. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take water and put it on the edges, make it all wet so it will stick together better. Alright, now I'm gonna stick it like that. Ah, my fan's making noise. Alright, now we're going to try to put the clay together the best we can, smooth it over with your fingers while pushing it together. Now I'm going to take some water and go over all of this, make it nice and smooth. Make sure all the cracks are filled up, everything. Now it's still going to look really lumpy, but we'll fix that later. We don't want it to look perfect yet, because we're going to have to cut this open to get the uh, paper towels back out later. Well, this will at least help a little. Alright, now I'm going to set that to dry. Oh, the cracks. It still has a few cracks I missed. There. I'm going to set that to dry under a... what is that? Uh, that's a 60 watt bulb. Well, that took a lot longer to dry than I thought it would. Alright, so now it's time to cut this open again. Uh, I think I'll cut it open from the top. Just, just to get a big enough cut in it to get the stuff out. There we go. All right, now let's get that out of there. Yeah, there. Now, we can see that this kept its shape well. If we pull this out. And dang it. There, nice and hollow on the inside. I'm gonna smooth it out a little with my thumb. But it, it, it stayed pretty smooth. That's great. It's still very wet on the inside, though. Alright, now that that's been smoothed out, we are going to do uh, what we did when we put the two parts together, except just on the little space we cut out. Alright, come on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some wet clay, and I'm going to use it to fill in the little cracks. There we go. Now we'll let that dry and we can fix the cracks more later. All right, now that this is dried enough, we are going to add the airway. Uh, it's kind of dense in right here, so I'll make the airway somewhere around here. Let's say, ooh, this would be good spot, this would be a good spot for the airway, yeah. I'm gonna cut a square just to start. 
there, and I'm going to pull that out. Now the way I do this is a, a little different. This is a good way to make uh, the mouthpiece for beginners who have just started working on these ocarinas. Uh, what I do is I add the actual uh, mouthpiece that sticks out last. So it kind of goes over the original mouthpiece. Alright, so I'm going to take kind of a long tool push it in through here. There we go. You see that? i pull up on the back. Alright, now I'm going to smooth that out because it's a little a little messed up. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Now let's see. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't make a tone. A lot of the clay is getting stuck on this as I pull it back. There, now I've got a little a little slit in there. I'll get a light so I can show that. Yeah. See there's a little a little cut right there. That's where it's coming out through here. Shines through there. Alright, now it shouldn't make a tone, but yeah, I knew it wouldn't. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, you see that there's all this clay right here, I'm going to cut that out so it's nice and thin. Alright, now I'm going to push this down, kind of try and line it up with where the air is escaping. Now I'm going to smooth this out a little, make it a little more round. All right, that should do it. I'm not sure how well you can hear that. It's a pretty low ocarina. All right, so we can we can uh, continue editing this later. What we're going to do now, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna take this off. Little bump that's up here. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the first hole. The first hole is going to be right here. What key is this in? Oh, this thing's being unclear. Alright, it, well, it, it's in B. We'll say it's in B because my tuner's being stupid right now. Alright, so the first hole is going to go right here. And this should make it go from B to C sharp. Oh. Yeah, it's just a little big. So I'm going to push it down a little. I'm going to make the hole smaller. I'm going to round it out. Alright, let's hear it. Alright, that's sounding good. Now the second hole is going to be, well, let's, let's see where my fingers go when I hold this. Alright, yeah, the second hole is going to be right about here. Yeah, C sharp to D sharp. Or E flat, according to my tuner. So, yeah, whichever you use, sharps, flats. I wish I could change my tuner so it would say sharps. Oh well. Alright, now the next hole is only going to have one more note added, and it's going to be right here. See, now the problem is that is going from uh, D sharp to F. We want it to go to E. So, we're going to make the hole a little smaller.
kind of round it out a little too. This isn't my rounding tool. There we go. Okay, now let's hear it. Excellent. So that means the next one should be F sharp and it's going to be right about here. There we go. Now this one, F sharp, please. Nope, that's G. That's G. Going to need to make it a little smaller. That's surprising. I did not think that. All right, that should that should be F sharp. Yep, that's F sharp. I'm not sure if it's showing up. Sometimes it glitches like that where it shows B for a second. Now we're going to go to the left hand. The left hand is going to, or let's see where I can hold it. I'm holding it, figuring out where my fingers will go when I play this. What I did might be a little hard to see is I put little dents where I know my fingers are going to be. So we're going to start with the ring finger and the ring finger, oh, what was this? F sharp, the ring finger should be, no, was it F sharp? Yeah, the ring finger should be G sharp. Alright, so let's see. G sharp is what I said? Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. Take my word for it. It says G sharp. Alright, so now we're going to do the left middle finger. And this one should be A sharp. It's saying B flat, which is a sharp. So that's good. It's getting a little airy, though. It's getting a little airy. If it gets too bad, we will fix that later. But uh, now it is time for. Ah, what is this? The index finger on the left hand? And this one's going to be a pretty uh, small one compared to the other ones. This one is going to only have one note, so it should be B. Alright, good, good. Now it's sounding a little airy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take off a little more of this clay that's blocking the way. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, darn it. I ended up blocking the airway again. Okay, that was dumb of me, I just made it worse. Alright, I think that should do it. What on earth am I doing wrong? Oh, there's something caught in it. Ah. Yep, it was a dried chunk of clay that got caught there. In fact, it fell in there somewhere. Well, that's sounding a lot better. That sounds beautiful. All right, now let's add the last hole. The last hole is going to be the pinky hole, and it's going to be the biggest one. I know, if I, if I was the inventor of standard fingering for ocarinas, I would change that. I think that's stupid. That's one of the pinky holes is the biggest one. But, uh, oh well. Alright, let's see. Excellent. Let's see how it sounds. I like to play a little song on it to make sure all the notes are in key. Make sure I didn't bump one and change it, so. Ah, damn it.
Yep, sounds in key to me. Now that does sound really airy, that's because it is still wet clay. Have to remember that. Plus my camera makes everything sound airy, so thank you camera. There we go. That sounds better. Alright, now we're going to get into adding the mouthpiece. Alright, so I've got a little clay ball, and this is going to be our mouthpiece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it, kind of make it a uh, square shape by pushing on it with my thumbs. You'll see this in a second. Try to make it a little thinner at the top. Like that, and then I'm going to uh, push in here with my pinky, and I'm going to pull the clay around it. Now this is not how you normally make these, uh, but this is an easy way to do it for beginners who want an ocarina that looks like a transverse ocarina. Well, oops. Oh, it is a transverse ocarina, it's just the mouthpiece is a little different. Alright, that, that seems good enough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the bottom and pull it out. Pinch the bottom, and pull it out. Like that. I'm going to just round this out a little better. I feel like this could have been a little better. Let's see. Yeah, now I'm just going to round it. Can't see it. I have to be careful. Just rounded it with my palms, and... Yeah, that's looking pretty good. You don't want to make it too thin. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom of this, and I'm going to dip it in the water bowl. Just the very bottom. Alright, now what I'm going to do, and this is the part you have to be careful about putting it on here. Now only pinch down on the sides and be especially careful around here because you don't want to end up pushing too hard and closing up the airway. So be gentle there. Just kind of push and then pull it across the side of the ocarina. Push and pull. You also want to make sure that you're not covering up the original mouthpiece. All right. There, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, kind of get my finger wet and smooth this out. Just a bit more. All right. Now I'm going to. I don't recommend doing this, but this is the best tool I have. I'm going to take a little screwdriver. I'm actually a big screwdriver, and I'm going to push it in like so. So it gives me a nice square uh, mouthpiece. Let's show that on the light. It's nice and square. I'm going to take a smaller tool. Probably should have used this to begin with. And I'm going to smooth out the insides like so. You can see that the mouthpiece is sliding around a bit. It's not dried on. Now I'm going to see. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, the mouthpiece works. Now I can smooth the top of this. There, now I'm going to let this dry for a bit, and after this has dried, we can smooth out the rest of the details on the ocarina, like making the holes a little more round and adding, adding, oh, what is it, the little serpent design that was ordered with this, that's right, can't forget that, that's the reason I'm making it. Well, this ocarina is dried enough, and it's ready for me to add the decorations to it, but that will be in a separate video. I'll put a link in the description once it's uploaded, and you can go ahead and click that if you want to watch me decorate it. If not, if you just want to go ahead and try to make one of these, that's fine too. And that is all for now. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and we will see you again next time.